Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Make Fails with me, Marv. So today we will be dealing with these four common office supplies that you might have or you can easily buy at any local bookstore. So this is a metallic pen, this is a correction pen, this is a permanent marker, and this is a sand pen. This is actually an apple pen. So I... I'm currently finding alternatives as to how I could write onto my resin pieces because my vinyl sticker supplier um, cannot supply me with very tiny letters because they are having a hard time cutting through it. And so I will be trying alternatives. So we will try these four and we'll see if it works. So we will now start writing onto our resin pieces. So these are our resin pieces and we will start with the so I bought this at National Bookstore for 50 pesos so we will try and write the word love onto this piece pretty bad at using correction pens since I don't use this that often because I usually use correction tips but it was worth a try and so our next thing will be the letter M and we will write with our apple pen so it's easier to use sign pens than regular ball pens because the ink of our sign pens are more liquidy and thus making it easier to write onto pieces but we'll see i will try writing my name oh it writes well Ooh, nice but i have to like repeat i have to like make repeated strokes for it to be dark enough because so the resin piece is quite slippery, thus it's not very visible, the writing is not so visible as compared to when it's written onto paper. So there we have it. Because I realized that I wrote onto the dark spot wherein there is this lighter spot wherein you can easily see my handwriting and because this is um, written through my pen, I can just erase this, see? We are done with the correction tape and the pen, and yay! I love this. This is my new metal pen, and so far I have been writing with this, and it's lovely. So I also bought this at National Bookstore for 35 pesos and 50 cents. So we will try writing with it onto our letter A. We'll see. Um, we'll try and write Angela. Oh my, so pretty. And it's very easy to write with this pen ooh nice look at it ooh nice I like it so I will try and improve my handwriting in but this is lovely it writes really well so far I love my metallic pen. This is my favorite. And then lastly, we have our permanent marker and we will write on to our beach piece. Oh, it also writes well, but it's quite translucent. I think the darker pens will look better with this 
but it's also nice. It dries well though. See? Can you see it? Here. Oops, it's not very clear. Maybe because I also wrote on the blue part. And I wrote through a blue permanent marker because we don't have a black permanent marker at home. So I just used the blue one. Let's try writing onto this because this is of a lighter shade. G. Let's try Gemma. Ooh, better. Ooh, nice. like write with the permanent marker it's better for you to write onto like lighter pieces that do not contradict the color like what happened with this piece so we are now turning on our ring scale and pouring our part a So another part A, pressing there, and then pouring our part B. Mix, 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 mix. Our resin has rested for a couple of minutes now and it's already a bit sticky. And so we will be making use of another mold just so that we won't be placing resin all over the place and we will be placing our letters the ones that we wrote on the other day and look they are so pretty oh so pretty and we will start doming let's use a toothpick happened to the G and the D wherein you can hardly see the things that we wrote onto those pieces like for this one I wrote Gemma and a few leaves here on this part but you can now hardly see those you can even hardly see the Gemma or read the Gemma and even in this piece the word Diane is no longer readable so that's saddening but look at these other pieces look at the correction pen see it's actually easy to write with the correction pen because it dries up easily the problem was that i'm not quite used to writing with correction pens and so i had like less control over it it still turned out great i still love it 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 did not bleed so I'm rooting for the correction pen. And hey here, oh my gosh. That's, oh, that's so pretty. OMG, that's so pretty. See, this, uh, this was just written through a gel ink pen, specifically the eye pen or the apple pen, which is very, very cheap. You can like buy it for only 10 pesos each. 
and it turned out really really great see oh my gosh Woo. a moment of silence for this very beautiful piece bring us to the ocean <laughs> It's very very pretty. And lastly, but certainly not least, this was the metallic pen. And it did not fail me. It's such a beauty. Oy, oh my gosh. Look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Um, a hack that you can do in order for the gel ink to like dry up faster, you can like heat them up with the heat gun and they will dry up quickly so that you can dome them immediately. So yeah, these are the pieces guys. So which ones do you love the most? Is it this, the one with the metallic pen? Or this? The one that I wrote onto with the gel ink pen. Or this. The one with the correction pen. Let's take a moment of silence to appreciate these two for sacrificing themselves in order for science to prevail. <laughs> for experimenting to prevail. So that's it guys. Which one did you like the best? Comment down below and if you have like other office supplies that you would want me to try if they would work on resin pieces, just let me know through the comments down below. Mm -hmm.